Hi everyone, welcome to Crochet for Life. In this video, I'm going to share with you how to crochet this pan for the babies. I made this pan for the this matching set. This baby pan is so beautiful and really easy to make. In my previous video, I show how to make this matching set. I made this set for the baby boy. Then I decided to make the full set and I have so many requests to make the baby pan. I'm going to give you 5 different sizes with this pattern. I hope you will love it. It's really easy to make. Even beginners can make too. I'm going to give you all details step by step. If you like this video, please thumbs up and share and comment down below. If you're new for my channel, don't forget to join with my thousand of subscribers by clicking this subscribe button and the bell icon. Okay, before I start the tutorial, I'm going to show you my finished set. I made these socks using basic socks video. You can get the four different sizes. And this pan is so beautiful and so comfortable for babies. I'm going to give you five different sizes. Early born, 0 to 3, 3 to 6, 6 to 9 and 9 to 12 month. And this baby mitten, you can get the six different sizes. This cardigan I made for the baby boy with the collar. And this matching hat, you can get the four different sizes. I'm going to give you this all detail in the description down below. And this baby blanket is really nice size. I use this pattern to make this baby set. This pant is so comfortable for babies. I'm going to give you five different sizes. You can see, you can adjust this baby pant. It's really easy to make. I'm going to give you all detail step by step. I'm using two colors to make this pant. Main color, I'm using white color yarn. Second color, blue color yarn. If you want to make the baby girl, you can use the pink and white. I'm using these two color, white and blue. This yarn is double knitting yarn. This yarn recommend hook is 4. This yarn will have 100 gram, 330 meters. For this pant, this two yarn ball enough. If you want to make the this pant with the this cardigan, this one blue color yarn ball enough. You need little bit more white color yarn. That means one and half yarn ball, one blue color yarn ball. And I'm using 4 mm crochet hook to make this full set. I'm going to give you 5 different sizes. This size for 0 to 3 month size. And I'm going to give you other old detail as well. It's so comfortable for babies. I'm going to start with the white color yarn to begin. Slip knot and a chain. Different size have a different number of chain. I'm going to make 0 to 3 month size. Then I need 86 chain. This 86 chain for the 0 to 3 month size. Early bone size you need 74 chain 0 to 3. 86 chain, 3 to 6, 98 chain, 6 to 9, 110 chain, 9 to 12, 122 chain. This is the size for the 0 to 3 month size. I have a 86 chain. Now I'm going to start the this waistline. I have 86 chain. Skip 1, 2, 3 chain into the 4th chain. 
skip 3 chain into the 4th chain 1 double crochet again this first 3 chain is the first double crochet again into the next chain 1 double crochet now I have a 1 2 3 double crochet again into the next chain 1 double crochet we need into each chain 1 double crochet this first row is going into each chain into this each chain 1 double crochet follow this pattern to this end of this first row now I am nearly finished this first row I made into each chain 1 double crochet Now I have all together 84 double crochet. This 84 double crochet for 0 to 3 month. Early born you need 72 double crochet, 3 to 6, 96 double crochet, 6 to 9, 108 double crochet, 9 to 12, 120 double crochet. Next I am going to join this first double crochet and the last double crochet together like this this size for 0 to 3 month size this the first round first round I have 84 double crochet next I'm going to start round 2 I'm going to finish this first round go through this first third chain 1 2 3 go through the third chain and slip stitch Next round 2, start with the chain 3. 1, 2, 3. This is the first double crochet. Into the next double crochet. Front force double crochet. Into the next double crochet. Back force double crochet. Again into the next double crochet. Front force double crochet into the next double crochet back force double crochet into the next front force double crochet this round is going front force double crochet back force double crochet front force double crochet back force double crochet follow this pattern all around to this second round now I am nearly finished this second round Front force double crochet, back force double crochet, finish with the front force double crochet. This first three chain is going to the back force double crochet. Join with the third chain using by slip stitch. Now I am finished second round. Round three, you can see this coming same size this one for 0 to 3 month size round 3 start with the chain 3 1 2 3 into this front force double crochet front force double crochet Into this back force double crochet, back force double crochet. Again, into the front force double crochet to front force double crochet. Into the back force double crochet to back force double crochet. This round 3 is going front force double crochet to front force double crochet, back force double crochet to back force double crochet. Follow this pattern all around to this round 3. I'm going to show you end of this round 3. 
Now I'm nearly finished this round three with the front force and back force double crochet. Finish with the front force double crochet. Join with the first third chain using by slip stitch. Now I finished three round. Next round four. Round four start with the chain three. One. Two, three, into this front force double crochet, front force double crochet, into this back force double crochet to back force double crochet. This round four is going into this front force double crochet to front force double crochet, back force double crochet to back force double crochet. Follow this pattern all around to this round 4. I am going to show you end of this round 4. Now I am nearly finished this round 4. Back force double crochet. And finish with the front force double crochet. I am going to use second color now. Then I am going to hold this white color yarn to the front side. And I take this blue color yarn. Go through the third chain. And pull this yarn through this two loop and tie it with the white color yarn. Chain one. This chain one for the round one for this pattern. This four round is going to waistband. This blue color is going to this pattern. I have a chain one now. This four round for the waistband and this pattern. First round, start with the blue color, chain 1, turn your work to other side, into the next double crochet, this front force double crochet. I'm going to make modern double crochet, wrap the yarn, go through this double crochet, pull it up, release one loop, next release two loop, release this last two loop, into the next Single crochet, again modern double crochet, release first loop, next two loops, next two loops, again single crochet. You can see now here I have a two bubble now, I am using this stitch back side for the front side, this is the right side, this is the back side, this stitch is coming right back side for the front side. You can see in a blanket video how to make this stitch. Into the next modern double crochet. Into the next double crochet, single crochet. Again modern double crochet. single crochet I hope you know this pattern now it's going modern double crochet single crochet modern double crochet single crochet follow this pattern all around to this first round I'm going to show you end of this first round now I'm nearly finished this first round modern double crochet single crochet finish with the modern double crochet Go through this first chain. I'm gonna chain the color. I'm gonna hold this white color yarn now. Go through the first chain and pull this white color yarn through this two loop. You can use this blue color yarn to tie. Round two, start with the chain three. Turn your work other side. Now you can see this side. I'll chain the color. Without cutting, you can see in this side little bubble. This is the right side. Chain 3. Into the next is stitch. Then mean this modern double crochet top. One double crochet. Into the single crochet. One double crochet. Again into the next modern double crochet up to one double crochet. Into the single crochet, one double crochet. 
this round 2 is going into each stitch 1 double crochet each stitch is coming 1 double crochet follow this pattern all around to this second round I'm gonna show you end of this second round now I'm nearly finished this second round I made into each stitch 1 double crochet now I have a 84 double crochet I'm going to hold this white color yarn to the front side and I'm going to take this blue color yarn for the next round. Go through the first third chain and pull this blue color yarn. Next round start with the chain 1. Now I have 84 double crochet for the second round. Again round 3 turn your work other side into the next double crochet this is the next double crochet modern double crochet into the next single crochet again modern double crochet single crochet modern double crochet single crochet follow this pattern all around to this round 3 I'm gonna show you end of this round 3 now I'm nearly finished this round 3 modern double crochet single crochet finish with the modern double crochet I'm going to hold this blue color yarn to the front side and I'm going to take this white color yarn through this first chain and this loop. I'm going to tie it using this blue color yarn. Round 4. Round 4 is going this same like a second round. Start with the chain 3, 1, 2, 3, turn your work other side, into the next stitch, modern double crochet of 1 double crochet, into the single crochet, 1 double crochet, this round is going into each stitch, 1 double crochet, end of this round we need 84 double crochet now I'm nearly finished round 4 I made into each stitch 1 double crochet now I'm going to change the color go through the first third chain and pull this blue color yarn through this third chain and this loop and tie this white color yarn chain one turn your work other side into the first double crochet modern double crochet into the next single crochet again modern double crochet into the next single crochet I hope you can understand this pattern. It's only two rows to repeat. Round 1 and round 2 is the repeat rows. You can continue this pattern with your pan size. This 0 to 3 month size we need 14 round. After 14 round I'm going to show you how to divide the two legs. Different size need different number of rows. 0 to 3 we need altogether 14 round. Now I am nearly finished round 14. Into this last stitch 1 double crochet. 
now i have 84 double crochet join with the first third chain using blue color yarn chain 1 this chain 1 for the next round now i finish round 14 this round 14 for 0 to 3 months you can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 14 round early bond you need 12 round 0 to 3 14 round 3 to 6, 16 round, 6 to 9, 18 round, 9 to 12, 20 round. Next, I am going to show you how to divide these two legs. We have 84 double crochet, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 41 42 42 double crochet for the one leg i'm using this stitch marker to mark in here and 42 double crochet for the other side leg that's the two legs one side have a 42 double crochet next round i'm going to start with the blue color yarn into the next Modern double crochet into the next double crochet, single crochet, same like before. It's going one modern double crochet, one single crochet. Follow this pattern to this stitch marker space. Now I finish this stitch with the modern double crochet and a single crochet to the 40, 42 double crochet. Next I'm going to join this first double crochet and a 42 double crochet together. This is the first double crochet and a 42 double crochet. I'm using single crochet to join these two double crochet together. Now I'm going to finish this first round for this leg. I'm going to hold this blue color yarn for the front side. And uh, I'm going to pull this white color yarn through this first chain and this loop. Now I have a white color on my hook. Next round, I'm going to start with the white color yarn. Start with the chain 3, 1, 2, 3. Now I have 42 stitch for this side and 42 for the other side. Next, I'm going to turn this work to other side. And here, in this joint, I'm going to make into the single crochet, double crochet. I'm going to keep this last loop on a hook into the next stitch. One double crochet, last loop on a hook. Go through these three loops and make one stitch. Into the next single crochet, one double crochet. Into the next stitch, one double crochet. This second round is going into each stitch one double crochet follow this pattern all around to this second round now i'm nearly finished this second round for this leg into this last stitch double crochet this second round finish with the blue color yarn i'm gonna hold this white color yarn to the front side i'm gonna pull this blue color yarn through this two loop and tie it with this white color yarn. Chain 1. Now I have a 42 double crochet for this leg. Round 3. Start with the. Into the next double crochet. Modern double crochet. Into the next single crochet. 
you know this pattern now you can continue this pattern to your leg size this size for 0 to 3 month size then we need all together 14 round for this leg This 84 width we have a 14 round and 42 width we need 14 round. I'm going to show you end of this 14 round. Now I'm nearly finished round 14 with the white color yarn. Now we are finished with the blue color yarn. I already cut this blue color yarn. Go through the third chain and slip stitch. I made 42 double crochet with the 8 sorry 84 double crochet with the 14 round 42 double crochet with the 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 then mean 14 round you have a two rows to repeat 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 you can see here have a 14 round for this leg if you're going to make a different size, I'm going to give you this all different size number of stitch. Next, I'm going to show you how to make the finish this leg. Next round 15. Start with the white color yarn. Start with the chain 3. 1, 2, 3. Next, I'm going to use this two double crochet to front force double crochet. I'm going to decrease the stitch now into the next double crochet, back force double crochet. Again, I'm going to use next two double crochet to the front force double crochet. One front force double crochet using two double crochet. Next one back force double crochet next two double crochet to the front force one double crochet next one back force double crochet into the next two double crochet to front force double crochet only one front force double crochet back force double crochet into the next two double crochet to one front force double crochet back force double crochet into the next two double crochet to one front force double crochet back force double crochet into this two double crochet to one front force double crochet back force double crochet into the next two double crochet to front force one double crochet back force double crochet two double crochet to one front force double crochet back force double crochet two double crochet to one front force double crochet back force double crochet this two front force double crochet to one front force double crochet back force double crochet into the next two double crochet to one front force double crochet back force double crochet into the next two double crochet to one front force double crochet back force double crochet finish with the one front force double crochet that's how i decrease the stitch for this leg join with the first third chain using by slip stitch now you can see here I have a small size next round round 16 start with the chain three into this front force double crochet to front force double crochet into the next back force double crochet to back force double crochet again into the next front force double crochet to front force double crochet 
back force double crochet into back force double crochet. Follow this pattern all around to this round 16. Front force to front force and back force to back force. I'm going to show you end of this round 16. Now I'm nearly finished this round 16. Back force double crochet. Finish with the front force double crochet. Join with the first third chain using by slip stitch. Next round. Round 17 start with the chain 3. 1, 2, 3. Into this front force double crochet to front force double crochet. Into this back force double crochet to back force double crochet. This round 17 is going front force double crochet to front force double crochet. Back force double crochet to back force double crochet. Follow this pattern all around to this round 17. I'm going to show you end of this round 17. Now I'm nearly finished this round 17. Finish with the front force double crochet. Join with the first third chain using by slip stitch. After 17 round, I'm going to cut the yarn. I made this 0 to 3 month size. 14 round plus last 3 round with the white color yarn. This last 3 round same for the all different size. This 0 to 3 month size have a 84 double crochet with the 14 round. After for this leg have a 14 round again. That means 14 and this side 14. New bone size you need 12 round and uh, for the legs you need again 12 round. 0 to 3, 14, 14, 3 to 6, 16, 16, 6 to 9, 18, 18, 9 to 12, 20, 20. This is the all different size round for the this pant. Next I am going to start the next leg. This is the back side. I'm going to start with the front side. Start with this, this side double crochet and the next double crochet. Go through this two double crochet and join the blue color yarn. Chain 1. Into the next double crochet for the other side. Into the next modern double crochet. Into the next double crochet is going single crochet. Again modern double crochet, single crochet. You know this pattern now. You can continue this pattern to your uh, this leg same size for the other side. This side, this leg is going to this round. You can continue this leg same size as this one. I'm going to show you after 17 round for this leg. Now I'm nearly finished this 17 round. Now I can cut this yarn for the second leg. It's really easy to make. You can make within 30 to 40 minutes for depend on the size. You can use the yarn needle to hide this yarn. This size for 0 to 3 month size. You can use some cord for the waistband. Then you can adjust this waistband. I'm going to show you how to make the way cord for this waistband. I'm using same size yarn to begin slip knot and chain one chain and make this loop more bigger like this now I have a 3 time yarn 1 2 3 
go through the this first chain and pull this three yarn now I have a three yarn on a hook use the this three time yarn to make the bigger size chain for the this waistband cord I'm going to show you again you can pull this yarn through these loops then it's coming again three times like this It's coming bigger size chain. When you finish, you can use again, go through this loop and pull this yarn like this. Or if you have a, some machine to make this cord, you can make the same size one. You can see it's coming really nice size I make this one using the scored machine you can see this coming same size if you don't have a machine you can use like this we need all together 85 to 90 chain for the 0 to 3 month size Different size you can use more chain for the bigger size. Here I have a 86 chain. This size is enough for the 0 to 3 month size. Next I am going to show you how to use this code for the waist band. This is the front side. I'm going to skip two front force double crochet. I'm going to pull this cord through this double crochet. Sorry, front force double crochet. Pass this cord around to this waistband like this. You can see I skip two front force double crochet this middle, then you can tie it in here. It's so comfortable for babies. We can't keep this cord same like this. I'm gonna add two pom pom for this corner. For this two corner, I'm gonna add two little pom pom. I'm using this two finger size. 30 to 40 time you can make 30 to 40 time then you can make a small pom pom from now please follow this video I made this two pom pom using 30 to 40 time. Next, I'm gonna add this two pom pom for this cord corner, like this. I'm 
after you tie this pom pom you can cut this yarn same size as this pom pom like this it's really easy to make and so beautiful when you finish this set don't forget to share with me in our facebook group i'll give you a link in the description down below Now I finished 0 to 3 month size pan. This pan 3 to 6 month, there's a different pattern. I made this coat using coat machine. You can see this 0 to 3 month size is coming this size and 3 to 6 month is coming a little bit longer. The same measurement. I hope you will love this set. If you like this video, please thumbs up and share and comment down below. See you again with another video.